Hey guys, what's going on? It's Steve Cronin. Uh, Alright, so, happy Thursday. Um, if you guys saw my previous video, I shot it in New York a couple days ago, or a few days ago by now. Uh, so you guys know that I am moving to New York City for work. Uh, so leaving Houston, Texas behind, you know, I've been here for 10 years. Um, probably been here for about four years too long by now. Uh, so it's great to uh, kind of begin a new kind of area of my life. Um, at the same time, it's a little scary to, to leave a safe environment. But hey, how do you guys grow, right? You grow through uncomfortability. This video is in full compliance of YouTube's community guidelines. I do not promote dangerous or illegal activities, and this video does not support illegal drug use, nor provide any medical advice. The purpose of this video is of education and to document my own personal experience. No drugs are shown within this video. At one time, this isn't the case currently, but at one time I did have a prescription for Adderall, so I can speak about it uh, from the legal perspective of taking it in the United States. Um, but I'm not taking it right now, and haven't for a while. Just to make that clear to you guys. So uh, I was talking with a co-worker while in NYC, and we were kind of talking about the idea of Adderall being a smart drug. Is it a smart drug, or is it not? Ah, <sighs> well, um, Adderall has, uh, it's very similar to modafinil, which I've, I've made a video on modafinil. Uh, quite, quite surprised and pleased with the success of that video. I think, as of this recording, it has like 18,000 views or something, maybe 19,000, something. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, but, so it's similar to modafinil in that Adderall will increase to very specific neurotransmitters, uh, norepinephrine and dopamine. Modafinil does the same thing. The big difference between these guys, uh, I mean, they're not in the same drug family at all. Uh, they're so completely different drugs that um, engage and encourage uh, different types or of the same neurotransmitters like norepinephrine and dopamine. This is like the modafinil, this is the Adderall. Um, or, or just even the same neurotransmitter, different drugs doing the same neurotransmitter. Uh, very different effects, right? Because we don't know how the mechanism, mechanism action works. Uh, there's a lot of different types of a neurotransmitter. So there's like uh, one type of dopamine will affect uh, someone differently than uh, if a different type of dopamine is, is induced in their body. And then of course, when you spread that out across people, uh, that all is variable anyway. So, uh, but to simplify everything, we'll just say that both of those drugs they both increase uh, relatively the same neurotransmitters, the, the norepinephrine and the dopamine. The issue is with Adderall is that the side effects are crazy. They're huge and they're very significant. This is stuff that I've experienced, like lack of appetite, uh, extreme dry mouth to the point where you can't talk and your saliva is like thick white. And you're like, mm. um, that happens to me just naturally when I make YouTube videos for like a long time. Like sometimes I record videos for like a couple hours, three hours, four hours even. Um, and sometimes you get dry mouth, right? So you get a sense of dry mouth, it's really intense, uh, sweating, uh, racing, heartbeats, um, crazy like running around thoughts. Um, it's more of like a hyper activity. Uh, for some people it induces focus, for me it doesn't. So the big thing about Adderall in terms of it being a smart drug is that it's really up in the air. We don't really have a solid answer on that. I have a solid answer that on that in regards to me, which is for me, Adderall is not a smart drug at all. Um, you know, the, the so the study I link below, uh, it's 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 pretty clear confined to that study, so it's not like it's clear for everything. But Adderall will increase your perception, or or uh, will will your perception will be altered. It's probably better to say so. It will alter your perception so that you think you have increased focus. Uh, when objectively, when that's measured, is not really the case, unless, unless you have severe deficits in the dopamine and norepinephrine neurotransmitters, in which case, uh, then it could be helpful. So, and that's, again, that's not me saying that, because obviously I'm not qualified to say something like that, but that is mentioned in the PubMed article below. So if you're healthy, and you're young, and you have, it's more or less, like, decent balance of that stuff, then Adderall is not really the way to go because it's more likely, it definitely affects your motivation in a huge way. Like you'll get a lot of stuff done. You'll be very, very motivated. But in terms of your performance, you'll probably do more things at the same like quality of, of, of work um, or even a little bit less depending on who you are and like how you were affected by these drugs. So whereas with modafinil, you can be a, a relatively healthy person 
and score higher on cognitive function tests and get increased motivation. Um, when you take Adderall, you don't get that increase unless you're unless you're like extremely old and have depleted, you know, brain's not working very well anyway, and you have those depleted neurotransmitters, or you're sick in some cases. So, um, but the biggest difference between Adderall and Modafinil, from my experience, is that one is crazy noticeable. Like, if you take Adderall, you're going to notice something very quickly, and it's going to be a very intense experience that lasts for a long time, for me, anywhere from like 8 to 12 hours, sometimes longer. Uh, whereas Modafinil is very subtle. Um, it's something that you can take and then if you decide not to use it, like in terms of like you take it, so you use it in that method, but if you decide not to activate your brain and you want to go out and do something else and relax, uh, you know, plans change, then you can still do that. But with Adderall, when you take that, um, you're kind of spun into this crazy uh, speed land that, that you can't really escape from. And so if your friends want to go out and, and you, they want you to hang out with them, you're going to be like... <laughs> Get all like antsy when you're trying to like be social and you're gonna be wanting to clean or do whatever it is you want to do. So uh, this was supposed to be a quick video on Adderall. It kind of went along because I talked about the whole moving stuff in the beginning. But uh, three parts of this video. I'm moving. Uh, one effect videos. Uh, Adderall, right? That's it for now, guys. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. The Biohacker Summit conference videos coming up. And that's it. Take care.